We are now joined here in the Infield Media Center by uh, Sunday's uh, pole setter, driver of the Budweiser, the number nine Budweiser Ford, Casey Kane. Casey, tell us about your lap. Well, it's, uh, it was a good lap. We, we missed it a little bit in practice, and uh, so we knew we needed to make a couple small adjustments to the car, and Kenny Francis and, and Keith did a really nice job. Uh, coming to the green, I felt great. I got through one and two really good and uh, just got a little bit free into three, so I, I missed the, the entrance a touch and then was able to gather it back and get rolling, but you know, I gave up a little bit of time there, and I noticed Paul Menard gained a lot right there in three at you know, going out late. He actually came really close to clipping us off, so it was it was good. I'm, I'm glad we got the pole for Budweiser and Ford, and um, it'll be exciting. A couple RPM guys on the front row on Sunday. That's, that's pretty exciting for the whole company. They did a real nice job. Absolutely. Congratulations on that. And this is um, Casey's third pole uh, in 2010 and second here at Kansas Speedway. We'll go ahead and open up to questions from media. Again, state your name and affiliation. Ron Masters, National Speed Sport News. Um, seven Fords in the top 15. Um, and I think there's five in the top ten. Um, kind of talk about that and, and how, I mean, that's a that's pretty impressive performance. Yeah, that's that's really impressive. You know, that's something that, you know, we didn't have at the start of the year. And it just shows how, how hard all the Ford teams have worked, uh, how f hard uh, all the guys at uh, the engine shop ha have worked on building power. And uh, they're doing a really nice job. So it's it's good that, you know, anytime you can qualify well, you know you have a good engine, you have a good package, and that's... Uh, that's what we do right now. So hopefully we can get it right tomorrow. Tomorrow's be a big part of Sunday, just the practice and trying to get a, a really good balance for the car where we can work on it. Randy. Hi, Casey. Randy Kovitz, Kansas City Star. You mentioned RPM. I mean, can you kind of talk? It's kind of interesting. Two guys who were leaving uh, Richard Petty, yet obviously performing well today, and still got eight to go. Just kind of talk about that dynamic a little bit. Well, I think to me it, it shows that. Uh, you know, the two, the, myself and Paul and, and our teams are still really interested in running strong and, you know, not backing down at all just because we're, we have other things that we're going to do in the future. And at the same time, it, it shows that uh, RPM's given us great race cars. Uh, Roush Yates Engine's given us great engines. So, I mean, we still have the package. We just need to put it together. And we've struggled. It seems like we missed the chase, got in that deal at Atlanta, and it knocked us back right there towards the end of the race. And... We haven't ran that, that good since. So, you know, it feels good to, to win the pole today, kind of give us a little momentum for, uh, for Sunday's race, and hopefully we can carry that. Kenny Bruce, SceneDaily.com. Casey, how close are you set up-wise for the race? I mean, will you guys have to make big changes? Well, we worked on, on race stuff. Uh, the first 40, about 50 minutes of practice, and we switched over, and they switched over really quick. So anytime they can switch over quick, it's a, it's a fairly close balance. And, you know, so I feel pretty good that we'll start off decent tomorrow at the start of practice and just have to work on it from there. But, we, you know, we tried some things today, and definitely the way we started isn't how the car qualified or how we'll start tomorrow. So I, I feel like, you know, Kenny and, and Keith had a couple plans, a couple ideas, and uh, one of them worked so far. So we'll just, we'll just keep trying to build on that and make it, make it right. Anything further for Casey? We'll go back to Scott in the back. Casey, congratulations on the poll. Scott Trailer Sports Radio 810, RacingBoys.com. So a little bit earlier in the season, Roush's team, they're struggling. And the word comes down that Kenny really helped him get that program turned around. Do you personally and your team take a little pride in helping Roush, Fenway, get their program turned around a little bit? Well, you know, it's... I, um, I was going to say, because some people think that's kind of strange that they had to go to you guys, to, you know, Roush being such a big organization that they should be able to figure it out, out, out on their own. Yeah, well, I think Roush has a lot of things um, there that, that we use on our cars as well. You know, we have a really nice car this weekend, a, a Roush car this weekend, and, um, you know, and, and we're quick with that. So I feel like they have a lot to offer us. Uh, just a little bit of the front end things that we were doing that Kenny had, had been doing at our deal for a while, clear back a couple of years ago, you know, some of that stuff Carl really liked. And, uh, and I think Greg and, you know, and, and it slowly got moved over to their place and, and some of their drivers really liked it. So, you know, you never know. Um, you know, there's things that RPMs helped them with and, and things that Roush has helped us with. And I guess that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep. <laughs> um, let's go Nate and then back to Randy. 
uh, Nate Ryan yesterday. Casey, you talked about that, that snowball effect and, and kind of getting down and things just keep get, getting worse. Is there anything about this weekend that seemed different? You know, is it just that you've, you've traditionally run well here and you show up and you know you've got more confidence or did the team just maybe have a different feel coming into this thing that's just... No, no. I mean, it. it uh, truthfully, in practice, I felt pretty good and then we made our, our qualifying runs and uh, we, our first lap was all right and our next couple were no better. And when practice got over, I actually wasn't that happy. And I went in the trailer and, and we talked about it for a little while and then Kenny called me 20 minutes later and talked about it some more and you know, they, they changed a couple little things. We weren't far off, but, you know, I'd, we just couldn't hit on it very quickly today. And uh, it, it took, you know, before qualifying to get it right. But um, it just shows. I, I think these cars are really close, like everybody's cars, and the competition's really close. And if you miss it a little bit, you can be 20th. If you make, we're 22nd in practice, and we, we made a couple small changes where we go pole. Like it's it's close, you know. There's a lot of competition right now, and you have to make the right decisions, the right adjustments, and then you can't overshoot your corner or, or hit the throttle too soon or, or any of that stuff. It's 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 pretty fine tuned, it seems like right now. Casey's a former Chase driver last year. Did you yeah. Take a little satisfaction. The top two and six of the ten non-Chase guys. Or, or... Yeah, I think that's you know that's pretty cool. It's uh, it's guys that still want to race well and, and and when you look at it when you're during the week and you're preparing for the race week and if you miss the chase it's kind of it's not nearly what it is when you're in the chase you know you have something to shoot for you think you can gain four or five spots or win a championship and we don't have any of that right now so to see guys that are not in the top 12 still qualifying good still running running strong on sunday um you know you have a lot of a lot of hardcore racers out here that that want to want to perform Anything further, we'll get another follow-up from Kenny. Casey, in years past, we've seen when crew chiefs were leaving teams or drivers were getting ready to make moves that they were kind of, I don't want to say shuttled off to the side, but they weren't, their input wasn't valuable to the team as far as, you know, what they were looking at going forward. Do you feel like you're still an integral part of the team there? Well, um, you know, they definitely... RPM's working on their future, and, and I'm not part of that. So, you know, at times you feel like maybe you're not so much of a part of it, and at other times you feel like you are. And, and when you see the, the equipment we bring to the track, you feel like you are still a part of it. So um, you go, I go through stages where I wonder, but then you have a day like today, and you're like, man, everything's good. We just have to do our job and, and perform. And um, it's kind of a tough situation to be in, to tell you the truth. I've... I didn't think I'd really struggle with it, and, and I do at times because I, you know, you get wondering and you don't know, and and it happens with team team guys, uh, guys on the team, guys at the shop. You know, some guys are leaving, going different places, and getting switched around, and that so that throws you off too. But you know, when you have a day like today and you win the pole, you realize that it's all there. We just need to work together as as a team, like we have the rest of the year, and hopefully finish strong. Anything further for Casey? Casey, congratulations and thank All you. Right, for your thank time. you.